KI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we are here today doing the generic brand Galaxy Alien Planet Start in Alpha 10. And today we want to check out the Camo Shack even a little bit more. Uh, I think, oops, let's get out of the radiation. We got radiated fog happening, so it's it's really bad out there. We get dosed really heavy, so we'll just hang out in here. Uh, what we need to do is install the gun that we made, install the ammo box, make some ammo, get that on there, and then this thing will be protected. So let's start with that. I'm gonna spawn the drone and let's tab in and out, just so I got my radar. <clears throat> You can see we're here in the uh, in the dormant volcano, um, and this pad. Can we reach it all from here? Oh, can we do it all from here? We oh good. You know what? I'm just gonna nuke this. We don't need this anymore, so it's gone. Let's take it out. So. You know what? I want to retrieve the blocks, though. What are we connected to? We've got 3,000. We sh we'll see. Let's see. Okay. So we're going to grab these. I mean, realistically, all, all I do really need to do is just pop the core. And, and, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> got a range of the drone. Let's just... You know, I'm just going to pop the core, I think, <clears throat> and not even worry about the rest of it. That'll pretty much stop it from getting base attacked. <laughs> and But I still want defenses on this thing, so let's respawn the drone again. Okay. Now we'll grab our stuff. Oh, am I dosing myself? I'm dosing myself somehow. I'm too far. There we go. Now, the drone. Okay. I'm glad there's no spawn down here. This would be a bit of a problem if there was a spawn, creature spawns. This is a really awesome area. If anyone, because this is a static map, it's up here. <laughs> up in the north. You just gotta find it. It's where was the crash site? Crash site was like way down here. So if you went north and then west, you will find it. It's an awesome mountain range. Okay. Um let's get this done. We want put the gun on. So I think what we want is we might as well do a cannon it's got the better range it's got better um, the rotation speed and I think it's got less spray too I think it's more accurate that way so I think it's just a better gun so let's use it and do we want it facing forward yeah let's have it facing forward so we've got a turret on there. We've got to put the ammo box on, and we should really be getting some ammo building. But I think hmm. <laughs> it's sad we've got to do all this on the outside. We'll put the ammo box here, because we're going to put a cargo box over here. So let's do that. Uh, we'll get, first of all, we need a large cargo box. And then from here, now that we've got an ammo box on here, we can just go directly into here. And 30 mil bullets. Let's put a bunch. That should be enough. It's only one turret, right? Okay. So now that is got ammo loading into it. And we've got... Did we build... Where is it here? I didn't grab it. Let's grab it. Put this on the outside. 
unfortunately. And we'll just. Good enough. I just need the cargo capacity right now. So. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this thing up fairly full with ore. Um, so I think I'll grab the abandoned drone base is really close to that silicone. I think I might go get this silicone here. So we'll get the silicone, copper, magnesium. We'll get another promethium and we'll get one of these irons. So, I should be able to just do that off camera and come back with all the ore. So I think I want to do that. Now that this thing has protection, I can kind of leave it alone and it should be able to take care of itself if it's just a drone passing by. A small drone, it should take it out, no problem. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's we'll we'll leave that here. I guess what we should do is make sure that we've got enough fuel in. Throw that in there. It's got a very tiny fuel tank. Okay, and once it finishes doing the ammo, it'll have a lot more fuel left. We should actually get it making fuel too, shouldn't we? Did I not take medium packs? Wow. Uh, I have no unlocks left. I didn't actually take me. Wow. <laughs> or the large fuel pack, I should say. I consider these the large. I consider these the medium. And I consider these the small. <laughs> So, yeah. Anyway. Um, hmm. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I don't, there's no benefit other than um, the amount of slots that the packs take up. And the amount of time. You get more energy for the amount of time that it takes to build the medium ones. Other than that, there's no, you don't get an extra energy boost like you do with the fusion cells by adding hydrogen to it. So um, I think we're ready to take the HV out. So let's do that. Let's do that. So we'll leave that cooking there. We're going to take the HV out and get the, oh, come on. My boost build up. There we go. Okay. Get this up back up in height here. There we are. And make sure that we're empty. Got tons of ammo. Lots of O2 and fuel. Here we'll just actually I'll hold on to those. That's fine. Yeah, so we've got lots there. What about, uh, do we got food on us? Let's take a little quick look. No. Okay, so let's grab a little bit. And we'll do it from here. Camel Shack fridge. Since that one's already open, we'll eat that. Grab that. And four of those. That's good enough. We'll probably find some meat anyway, right? Let's zoom out. Okay. Um, now we had enough oxygen in the in here, right? Oops. Yep. Lots. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna go get the ore. Come back. We're gonna fill this thing up. We're gonna we're gonna put a um, a a dock docking pad on the front of the HV and we're going to go up into space. I think I'm, hmm, let's, what's our food intake? We might go swimming and get a whole bunch of seaweed. 
first though and that'll sustain us for quite a while oh here let's switch back to the ore and wood container on the HV for our connected container and we might as well waypoint this now I mean realistically this should only take like five minutes to mine this out I think I I, I really want to showcase how good a small little mining vehicle can be I'm gonna and it's 3k away through treacherous forest yet this thing only has two Gatling guns it has no armor other than con container extensions so I'm really putting my neck out there with this thing but here we are on an alien planet and I've been able to pretty much handle groups of large drones just with this little little mini miner just don't want to get caught on anything I'm trying to avoid everything um, and it handles it handles the train quite well it handles water good <laughs> like it's just not a problem I know a lot of people say you know use an H design in the in the suspension for the H for the hover engines that'll make it more stable when like tippy if you hit things on the side but it's pretty stable right now the only problem with the H design is it is it doesn't mine very well with the H design I tried that I experimented with that and this design that of the tricycle design for this oh hey buddy I have to kill you first sorry overseer you must die that's okay he has he has stuff for us that's actually quite beneficial so we're gonna grab it meat and pentaxid refined okay so we can put that there throw that in the fridge we can actually use the constructor the small constructor to cook that in a steak so small constructors can get you really far in the game they can get you really far they can they can make 15 mil bullets so they can make ammo for your gatling guns um yeah small constructors can do quite a bit okay so let's dig this out <clears throat> so we've got 70 percent left should we just tackle it right into the hole just expand this go straight in and like screw ourselves by by doing that yeah i think we should i think we should now nah, this thing doesn't really get stuck it's it's got enough rcs and enough digging power and enough thrusters to just hit O and keep the drills going, you're not going to get stuck. Okay. But we do need to see where it is. Where is it? Right there. There we go. Breaking through to the other side. Oops. There we go. We are in. We are getting silicone. Yeah, baby. I'm going to switch to cockpit view because the camera doesn't freak out that way. The silicone is, I mean, it's a little bit hard to see probably on camera, but I can see it. I don't think if I turn the lights off, it would help. In fact, it does not help at all. So we'll turn the lights back on so that can see the silicone it's funny I don't really know if I'm up or down or right way up or whatever there I'll 
hit. Oh, okay. So now we're. This is this is right way up. And it looks like we're getting close to. I don't know. Still big chunks of it here and there. Underneath us. Yep. And right there. Is that it then? No, a little bit there. And I think that may be it. Here, let's zoom out. Get our camera back. Yeah, I don't see any more. Okay, so now we're in this pit, which is some holes directly above us. Okay. I'm up for the challenge. A little bit of digging here and there, not a big deal. Oh! <laughs> Lost the momentum and fell back down. That's okay. We got this. We got this. Dig our own path back out. Okay. Let's see what we got out of that. 618. Perfect. And that's eaten up about half of our storage space. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on the connected bar because then it doesn't actually take up any weight for some reason. It still eats up store and and the volume yeah that's so they got to work on that still uh they got to make it so that if you do put it on the bar it doesn't matter it still it still counts as full weight and volume but right now it doesn't for some reason the weight doesn't count at all when it's on your bar okay so we should grab there's um cobalt there we could probably grab that cobalt. It's far enough away from the... And so let's come back through. We want... We can get this copper, magnesium, iron, pentaxid, cobalt. Let's do that. Oh, you know what? Let's do the promethium first, though, I think. Let's get the promethium first. Okay. I don't think any drones came back. We've killed the drones a few times now, even the ones that have come back to these areas heading back and forth to the DSE, so... Okay, let's just dig in. This is silicone. Promethean, I should say, silicone. We just did the silicone. Let's... There's the chunks. I'm like, where's the chunks? They should be around here. Just expose this a bit. There we go. Get into it. one back there we'll get to. There it is. Right there. Get this one. Get these. Yep. We fell over. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. I'm also at a very high hover height, which makes it a little, you know what? It's easier to be at about 2.5 meters with this thing. I don't know why, but it, it really smooths out at about that height. It doesn't bounce as much. Okay. Come on. Oh, that's why I'm facing down. Sometimes you, sometimes you can't tell which direction you're facing, and, and it's like, why, why can't I move? It's like, yeah, there's not enough thrust to thrust backwards directly straight up. 
sometimes. Especially if you're up against something. <laughs> okay, there's a chunk right here. Come on. Just get around it. Get around it. There we go. Come on. Ugh. Let's get this view going. See, that's the one thing with the T1 drills. They See that? It won't. It's like right up against it yet. You know, no, let's not drill it. Jesus. So you can get stuck sometimes because of these these um, T1 drills. There we go. Okay. It's still showing that there's a Promethium deposit here. So why? We're going to find... Here, let's get out. We might be able to turn the light off. Sometimes that helps. There it is. Okay. Oh, that sounded like it. That was it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oops. Bit of a lip there. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. So, what are we at now? Uh, we're pretty much maxed out. Let's just head back to base. Okay, so what I'm going to do, um, instead of taking up all the time just mining, I'm going to I'm going to go back to base. I'm going to mine out the rest of these deposits and I will keep going back to base, dumping them off. Once I'm done, I'll come get you guys. Okay, we're back. We gathered a ton of stuff. I've docked the HV to the uh, CV here, <laughs> the camo shack. And we're, the last thing to do now is get some water. We're going to grab all the water. So let's link to the big cargo box here let's see we've got a lot of stuff in here now so oh wait we've got to do it on the other side so let's do go like this camo shack cargo box link to it and then we're going to throw the water in here oh these ran out wow okay Ran out of fuel. Um, are we coming back here? Probably not. Probably not. So you know what? I'll probably pick these up too. Let me just grab all the water first so that I know I can grab all the water. That's all that's really important. So 100, 160 water. That's plenty. Let's grab these. Okay. And let's top up our oxygen. Now I saw that somewhere. Is it in the... Yeah. Okay, so fuel, oxygen, we'll top that up. Um... Okay, we should be able to launch into space, and then our fuel won't be so bad, and we can find a spot. We've got some fuel made, so it's a tiny little tank. Okay, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> it didn't like how it was sitting, apparently. It still doesn't. Whatever. Um... Let's turn everything on. We'll auto group everything here. Get the thrusters on. Okay. We have 13 minutes because we are underpowered. Our, uh, we don't have enough, um, what do you call it, uh, generators. That's okay. It's okay. We've got our 
Well, many mine are with us, and we are in space. Woohoo! Okay. Well, there's a asteroid ring around this planet. So basically, we want to find somewhere safe. Um, yeah, we don't have a lot of time. I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the break off. And then I think what we need to do, oh, look at that. There's a, there's a resource asteroid right here by the look of it. Is it? I mean, it's all by itself out here, right? I do have markers turned back on. Yeah. No, I guess it's not. Okay. Oh, yes, it is. See that? Cobalt. I thought it was. We're just drifting around. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, let's just... Quick way to stop is turn the power off. And just turn it back on a bit again you instantly stop in your place okay i want to mark this if we ever come back here okay so what distance was that from the planet 20 2,000 meters, 2,000 meters, okay. So we'll probably find more at around the 2,000 meter mark. 2,000 to 3,000, maybe 2,000 to 4,000. Uh, anyway, we'll, let's head into here. We should, we should be okay. Um, take on a space drone if we have to so I just want to get past this asteroid field nothing dangerous so far just a bunch of rocks just a bunch of rocks We've got lots of water, we've got lots of fuel, we've got lots of, um, I went and picked a whole bunch of, I'll show you, I don't, I'm, I don't need to keep thrusting, <laughs> I don't know why I was doing that, okay, stop that, why is it doing that, that's weird, whoa, it won't let me, it won't stay in this view. Okay, is it because the brake's not on? No. Is it because we're moving? Okay, we're not moving anymore. Oh yeah, okay. So because we're moving, we can't keep the window open? I don't remember that being a thing. Okay, how far back are we here? Probably not far enough. I really want to get, uh, ideally about 10k out from the planet. We're almost there. Okay. This should be just fine. This should be just fine. Let's level off because it's always easier to construct well level and then we're going to shut the thrusters off there we go well oops what i'm going to do now is here let's re-level off what i'm going to do now is i'm going to build this thing up a bit so that we can fly and use it to fly around and maybe get more resources see if we can discover stuff in the 
uh, orbit here of the planet, see if there's something, some way of finding something, some way of making a warp drive. I don't feel like making an SV. Yes, we have the resources to do it, and if I have to, I'll do it, but I think we should be able to build up the Camel Shack enough to explore around and find enough resources to build a warp tank, a warp drive and a pentaxa tank and warp out of here so next episode we're going to be working on the camo shack building it up into a useful cv a very small one but it'll be useful it'll be it'll be a little mini base and we'll use that to explore with and and get some more resources so till then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day